Hi everyone, I'm Audrey and this is It's On. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm really glad you're all here. So today we're going to use that cream of mushroom soup again uh, in a beef and rice uh, casserole. So my husband, when he was growing up, one of his favorite casseroles was, was kind of a celery and onion and beef. Um, and then you did cream of celery soup and cream of mushroom soup um, and rice, uh, just white rice. And then you bake it off and traditional casserole you eat it with bread or <laughs> salad or whatever he ate it with uh, peas I think his mom used to make him so today what we did is um, I took that same concept and I just renovated that recipe to be AIP friendly so you'll see what I did was I did the um, onion celery just like normal the ground beef just like normal I added some chopped up mushrooms um, as well just to give it a bit more uh, meaty that kind of umami flavor that I like so much uh, we used some Herbamir to get some of that classic casserole flavor. And then I thickened it a little bit with tapioca starch like I do my uh, gravy, my sausage gravy. And we added the cream of mushroom soup to it and some collie rice. And so we'll see how it turns out um, after we're all done, but that's, that's what we're having today. So without much more chatter, let's get cooking. <music> Let's have a little taste test. Let's show you what it looks like. So it does, looks quite good actually. I love how thick and creamy it looks. It doesn't really, there we go. It's really hot, so we'll see. I like that a lot okay this is a definite winner um, I think the only thing I would change is I might add a little bit more herbamir mirror to it but you can add that at the end uh, right when you're eating it um, and if you have reintroed pepper I've been trying to but have had kind of hit and miss success with that I um, may be really good with a little bit of black pepper too other than that like the flavor of the mushrooms and the celery and stuff it it really flavors the dish all by itself you don't need a bunch of spices for this particular dish so anyway this one's super simple relatively cheap um, easy to make i hope that you enjoy this as much as we do uh, and we'll see you in the next video